Johnny Fisk. Uh, uh, I've been uh, working on this for the last, uh, since its inception. Uh, but yeah, this is the, uh, the Halo Reach uh, statue, I guess we're calling it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is the E3 display. For How long have you guys been working on this? Uh, you know, I've been on it for a while. I mean, we've been yeah. you know working on concepts and things, stuff like that. So it is the giant version of the legendary edition of the sculpt. So, um, so yeah, but we're working on it for a while, getting ready. But um, the crew and everybody really started about six to eight weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's been about a six-week process from you know start to finish. That's all to scale. Yeah. So, yeah exactly. How tall? So, I mean, it's like over seven feet tall. Um, yeah. Some guys are kind of kneeling down. Like yeah. George is actually about eight feet tall. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, you know, we had to kind of bring him down a little bit to just kind of get him to hide the rest of the characters. Yeah. So a lot of that was worked out with the legendary edition sculpt. So um, Farland worked out a lot of the details for us. Right. So we could just really kind of like you know focus on just getting him big. So and um, everything's hand painted, right? You, everyone's uh, hand painted. I mean, we do some sprays, we do some yeah. washes and brushes and things like that. But it's all pretty much made by hand. Exactly. So, sculpted by him too. So, uh, luckily, McFarlane and us, we all kind of used the video game files to start with. Right. So, we all kind of have the basic framework to go from. And uh, since that sculpt was done and approved and went through approvals for a long time, I think it was about a year in process for them. So, yeah, for this, I mean, you're looking at about, a, you know, each figure takes about, uh, let's see, about. It's about a week to mill it out of foam, a week again for hand sculpting, maybe a week and a half depending on changes and things like that, two weeks there. Um, it takes about a week, two weeks to coat it, and then another week to paint it. So, you know, I mean, there's kind of your timeline. And then, you know, you can compress and, and decompress that schedule depending on the complexity of these characters. And, and you said they were cut out of foam, but um, that doesn't mean they're light. I mean, how heavy are they each figure? Uh, this, this foam's like uh, eight pounds de uh, density, you know, so, um, and I think that's eight pounds per square foot. So they're not, uh, they're not light by yeah. any means, but they're yeah. not too, too heavy. I mean, I can, I can lift Cat and Carter. Yeah. Uh, it gets a little crazy with the meal, and George <laughs> is like a four guy. George is massive. And we had to hold George out just to be able to get him. Wow. Be able to lift. So, because the weight of him wouldn't even be able to hold himself. So, foam is that dead. So, yeah. And then the super backpack. Because the backpack of George is like the size of the cat's torso. Alone. So, he's big. Yeah. He's a big guy. So, yeah. It's great, and this will be set up so people can go by, come by and get pictures taken with it all week. Yeah, all week. So we'll be here till Thursday. It's packaged up, and hopefully, gets into retail. So <laughs> there'll be a couple of these guys in a game store near you. So awesome. Yeah.